What better place to launch a retro-inspired Peugeot than at the Paris Motor Show in 2018, a show that this year celebrates its 120th birthday. Meet the Peugeot E-Legend. The E-Legend is a concept that nods its head to the Peugeot 504 that was launched in 1968 and was built in Kenya all the way to 2004. I have to say, I think it's probably one of my favourite cars at the whole show. It just looks incredible and you can see little styling cues to Peugeot's current lineup, but it just, it's fresh and it just looks cool. And on the inside, oh my word, the seats are the kind of blue that you'd see in a bathroom in the 1970s and they're velvet seats and they just look the business. One of the best interiors I've ever seen. It's a fully autonomous, fully electric vehicle, but it's one that you can take over the controls if you're in a spirited driving kind of mood. It has 100 kilowatt hours worth of batteries, four wheel drive, 340 kilowatts power, and 592 pounds feet of torque. That is a lot of torque. And because it's electric, the torque is available from zero RPM. Essentially, it's just a tire shredder. Zero to 62 miles an hour takes less than four seconds. The top speed is 136 miles an hour and you can drive for 600 kilometers. Will it ever be built? Probably not, at least not in its current form, which is a shame, but it's just fantastic looking thing. What a brilliant concept. What Peugeot is building, however, is a 3008, 508 and 508 SW hybrids. You have hybrid models and hybrid four models and both should be able to run for about 30 miles on EV power alone but the hybrid ones have slightly less capacity than the hybrid four versions. The 508s have the lower capacity hybrid system so they've got turbocharged 1.6 litre engines with 200 brake horsepower and 110 brake horsepower or 80 kilowatt electric motor so the total power is 225 brake horsepower. The 3008 on the other hand gets the beefier hybrid four system so it has a 200 brake horsepower engine and two electric motors with one at the front and one at the back. So in total, you have 300 brake horsepower and it will do 0 to 62 miles an hour in 6.5 seconds. This is the fastest Peugeot 3008 we have seen. And actually, with that kind of performance, that's knocking on the door of the 308 GTI. All of the hybrids come with a new E, E88 automatic eight-speed gearbox. And the E at the beginning, before E88, just means that it works with all the complicated electronics. I can imagine a system like that is massively complicated. The 508 SW looks really, really good. It's the first time I've seen it in the metal. But I think it's the 3008 with that hybrid system that I'm most looking forward to driving. That's a solid amount of power.